Hi guys, this is Vijay and you are watching my YouTube channel VK Online Tutorials. Welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed my channel, so please subscribe my channel to get the notification about my new videos. Today I will describe about the construction and working principle of a condenser microphone. Basically microphone is a transducer which converts the sound signal into electrical signal. So objective of this tutorial is illustrate the construction of a condenser microphone and explain its working principle. Before discussing about the microphone I would like to discuss about capacitor in brief. Let us draw a parallel plate capacitor. Suppose this is the parallel plate capacitor which is designed as the effective area of its plates and one, and one plate is fixed and other plate is set to such a way that it can be vibrated due to signed pressure. As you know about these two formulas of capacitor, C is equal to epsilon A by D Q is equal to C V. This is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2. In the first equation, A is the effective area of this plate A, D is the distance between these two plates D, epsilon is the constant which is permittivity of material or dielectric constant C is the capacitance of this capacitor. In the second equation Q is the quantity of the charge is stored on its plate C is the capacitance of this capacitor and V is the voltage across its plates. Put the value of C from equation 1 to equation 2 then Q is equal to epsilon A by D into V or D is equal to epsilon A by Q into V. See if this capacitor is fully charged and it is not being discharged anyway then Q will be constant for this condition. Effective area A is also constant since after manufacturing A is not possible to change. Epsilon is dielectric constant so this quantity become constant. D is not constant as we discussed earlier that one plate of this capacitor is free to vibrate. When this plate vibrates D is changed and corresponding voltage V across the plates also changed. So it's clear V is depending upon D. So only D and V are variable. This phenomena is used in the design of a microphone. There is a capacitor in the condenser microphone. Front plate of the capacitor is said to vibrate due to the sound pressure. Due to vibration of this plate, distance between plate will be changed. Hence voltage of this capacitor will be changed as per the sound pressure. Let us draw the structure of a condenser microphone. This is the parallel plate capacitor. This is the one plate of capacitor and uh, this is the other plate of this capacitor. Both plates are fixed with insulator material. This plate is called back plate and uh, this is called front plate. Front plate is made of a very thin film and able to vibrate due to the sound pressure and the front plate is connected to the positive voltage supply through a register R. This capacitor will be charged through this register. Then there will be a fixed voltage across this plate. Suppose this is VC. This is the coupling capacitor which passes AC signal and blocks DC component. When the sound pressure hits this plate, 
इट्स बिगेन टू वाइब्रेट एंड ए ए सी सिग्नल प्रोड्यूस्ड करस्पॉन्डिंग टू साउंड प्रेशर एंड वी टेक दिस ए सी सिग्नल थ्रू दिस कपलिंग कैपेसिटर वी ओ दिस सिग्नल विल बी लाइक दिस and this way the condenser microphone converts the sound wave into the electrical signal there is another form of the condenser microphone is known as an electric microphone let us draw the construction of the electric microphone This is the construction of the electric microphone. In this structure, there are two plate of a parallel plate capacitor. This one is pickup plate, and this one is front plate. This plate is made of very thin film, like Mellor film, quartz, polypropylene, or PTFE. An electrostatic material is coated on this film, which works for many years without being discharged. Pickup plate of this capacitor is connected to the get of the fet field effect transistor this is the capsule type aluminum enclosure all these arrangements are put inside this closure source and drain of this fet is taken out for the connection to the external circuitry this is the dust cover which protect the front panel from dust coming from outside this hole is for to enter the sound pressure inside the enclosure now this is the whole arrangement of a electric microphone there is only one difference between these two microphone this microphone is require external power source but electric microphone does not require any external power supply we connect the drain to the supply voltage through a resistor r and a coupling capacitor which block the dc component from output the capacitor is pre charged so there would be a fixed voltage across the capacitor when the sound pressure enter and hit the front plate the front plate is start to vibrate and the distance between both plate is varies as per the above equation if d is vary then the the voltage across the plates also varies so the voltage across this capacitor will be vary this changing voltage is applied to the gate of the fet resultant vds voltage is vary as per the sound pressure suppose this voltage is vds we get a signal like this this is the dc component and this part is ac component we take only ac component through this coupling capacitor so output voltage will be like this and this voltage is given to the signal conditioner circuit for modifications this was the working principle of the electric microphone thanks for watching we'll see you in my next videos bye bye